Hi, I'm Peter Ames Carlin, author of the audiobook Bruce, which is read by Bobby Cannavale. Well, Bobby is, you know, obviously a terrific actor, and I've known his work for a long time. Um, but he's also got that New Jersey background. He's got a sense, I think, that kind of visceral sense they all have <laughs> down there of, of what New Jersey sort of, you know, w what it symbolizes, particularly for people that grew up there who came from working class towns. And he knows Bruce. I think, you know, they've hung out a little bit here and there. And, uh, you know, and that gives you another layer of insight. And as somebody, uh, you know, as an actor, as a particularly, uh, uh, a particularly good actor, as Bobby obviously is, you know, he know he knows what to look for in a personality, and so he, even though when he I think was, you know, had dinner with Bruce or hung out with him, I don't think that he wasn't doing that knowing that this that this that this book was coming. Uh, but I think that if you're an actor and you work on that level, there are things that resonate with you that stick with you about a character. And so I think that when he really began to dig in and do his research for this, and he did quite a bit of research, quite a bit of reading and quite a bit of watching just to get the sense, you know, the nuances of Bruce's voice to a degree and the rhythm of his language, uh, you know, that he really could, I think, internalize the spirit and the feeling behind the words, which is, you know, a dream situation if you're an author and, you know, and there's a guy reading your book. <laughs> you know, you need that sense of comprehension and connection. And the, be the beautiful thing about Bobby was that it was instantaneous and, and uh, you know, and, 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 and powerful.